Hey, my name is Community. I'm here at Money 2020 and stopping by the Blockchain Intelligence Group booth. I'm here with Lance, the man himself. Is it Morgan? Morgan. Morgan, Morgan yes. Awesome. And we're talking about what Blockchain Intelligence Group is, what they do, how they started, and a little bit about Lance himself. But uh, Lance, how's the show been for you so far? A great show. Amazing. Yeah. This is our second year here and uh, we're in the right spot. Awesome. Well, you guys definitely caught my attention being blockchain native, being a blockchain native show. I'm on your biz. I saw you guys and immediately was drawn over and, and uh, Britt was uh, really kind as well as uh, everybody else at the booth saying, okay, we, we got to get you in touch with Lance. So let's talk a little bit for the Mind Your Biz audience that may not be familiar with Blockchain Intelligence Group. Who is Blockchain Intelligence Group? And in a nutshell, what do you do? Great. Well, we've been around now for eight and a half years. Uh, we started with providing tools to law enforcement to track cryptocurrencies. Of course, they had the demand and the budget. But as time went, we realized that we had the depth of data to deliver financial services. So risk scoring of addresses and transactions to allow uh, organizations to meet their regulatory obligation. And then we also provide training. Uh, training has been a big thing for us and also the industry itself, really. We want to be involved in crypto, but we don't understand where we start. How do we manage our responsibilities? And uh, so we're kind of like a full service shop relevant to anything regulation and crypto. Awesome. It sounds, I, I love the, uh, the education piece. That is so important based on what you guys do. Some people would say like, oh, well, you're, you're doing intelligence on the blockchain. You're going to dox everybody and everyone's going to lose their privacy. And there's a lot of FUD I know that goes behind the, uh, the sector that you're involved in. So uh, let's, let's unpack a little bit about what you do and let's talk more, I guess, about how you got started, what the initial problems were that you saw needed to be solved and, and how you got involved and in, yeah, sort of the genesis of this whole, uh, this whole thing. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a serial entrepreneur since 1995. I've started uh, 20 companies. I'd say 75% of those were in technology. And in 2014, one of my ex-business associates came to me and said, listen, we have a database growing at a rapid pace, speed and scale. And when you have that, search and analytics are going to be a necessity. And, and it's with these kinds of tools that actually allow further adoption to take place. Because if law enforcement can't do their job, regulators can't feel comfortable to actually write regulation. And so we're, we're the ones to help bring cryptocurrency mainstream. Yes, there are the libertarians. I mean, there are no, we don't hold any PII, that's not us. But what we do give is transparency to otherwise a ledger that is just a bunch of numbers and addresses. And so we, we identify different entities and actors within the ecosystem. And then you can start to figure out how that money's going, where is it going to, is it a, um, a licensed entity, an unlicensed entity, are they on the dark market using it for nefarious activity, um, is it terrorism financing, is child exploitation, these kinds of things. So, you know, really when I was asked to do this, it was quite exciting to help shape the new financial future, but also save lives because at the end of the day, there are crimes being committed that are human trafficking and other things, um, opioid issues, and, and in, if you have those, then you have a cryptocurrency involved. And it's a lot easier for a guy to sell drugs from his bedroom and take payment than it is to stand on a street corner. And so to also know that directly or indirectly our tools are helping save a life or lives is really something that helps get me out of the bed every day. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, in the mining risk community, we're, we're very familiar with cybersecurity and the, the OSINT movement, right? I mean, it's open source intelligence is absolutely a thing that exists in the world today. And so with you taking some of this publicly available information on a public ledger, public distributed ledger, it's only ever a matter of time before somebody's going to do it. So we'd prefer that it be somebody who we, we can come to trust or somebody who has maybe the uh, best intentions at heart and is working with law enforcement in a uh, conscientious and very uh, intentional way to help prevent those crimes and to do some good with that information. So, uh, so kudos for that. Let me ask on the upcoming roadmap, is there anything that, uh, that the Mind Your Biz community, now that you know a little bit about us, could be excited about or could look forward to? Um, well, I think the the next stage of the Biden executive order and what we're all seeing, and, and, and we do need some protection. We need to make sure that there are proper metrics put in place that allow citizens to have complete transparency, understand the fees that are being charged, understand um, what kind of risks they might be getting involved with. And we don't want another Terra Luna collapse and, and really another black mark. And there's been others. And, you know, it, it was the Wild West. And, of course, it, it's natural that we are seeing these things. It's unfortunate it's to the scale and... and cost to average citizens and individuals, but we want to make sure that, that it is available to everybody globally. I mean, that's what crypto really is, is to try to make it a borderless payment system. And so for us, it's, it's helping make sure that 
as these new regulations come in, that we can give additional tools that allow proper oversight to take place, make sure that wash trading and things like this aren't happening as best as possible. And so those are some of the things that we're excited about is just further uh, help regulators and regulation and citizens uh, be protected. Awesome. Okay. Well, Lance, I really appreciate your time. We're coming up on time here, but mind your risk community. You, you, got, you got just a little bit of taste of what the Blockchain Intelligence Group does. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see a follow-up with Lance or anybody from the Blockchain Intelligence Group. Uh, before I let you go, though, where are you found on the internet? Are you looking for interaction from the retail community? If so, what should people do? How should they find you? And what should they do when they get to, get to your web properties? Yeah, thanks, Seth. Um, you can find us at blockchaingroup.io. And uh, yes, I would love to hear feedback from the community and anything that you might see that we should be aware of or thinking about. Um, we always like to hear this is what makes us better and keeps us uh, present mind of, of all, everyone involved in this whole new financial ecosystem. So. Um, I look forward to, uh, to hearing back, and, and thank you for your time as well, and the audiences. Guys, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, the, the handshake is...